Alright. That's better. A little bit. Let's drop some of this food in here to get this party started a little bit. Oh yeah. We have a little small feeding frenzy. But before we get into this video, first, I'd like to thank you guys for coming to this channel to see this because you guys could be doing a million other things right now. But instead, you're here with me and I appreciate that. If you guys like the content, you should like, comment, subscribe. That helps the channel out a lot. Also, follow me on my Instagram. You know, that'd be greatly appreciated. You know, you can always reach out just to say what's up, show some love, it's all good. Also, let me know where you're from, where you're reaching out from, and uh, let me know what your dream cichlids is, what's your favorite cichlid, you know? And without further ado, let's jump into it. So, what do we have here? A couple of uh, Cuban cichlids, Nondipus tetracanthus, and uh, these cichlids can Hey, the name says it all. It could be found in Cuba. You know, there's a pair that uh, bred for me about about four or five times already. Uh, I have a spawn of theirs. You know, I just decided to keep one spawn. Can't raise five, six hundred fish at one time because we are almost at that number. Actually, we got a couple of species of fry, but. We have their fry in another tank, which I'm about to show you guys in a minute. So I just thought I'd do a little quick recap on the Cuban pair. They've been rehomed to this tank due to I moved their their uh, fry into the uh, in their home they was in. So that's temporary, you know. So right here we got Sunset Sherbert 2.0. And she is incredible. Her color's a little bit washed out right now. She been kind of like taking a little beating. She was in here with Chicken Sun the One. But, oh man, what can I say about that guy? He's a, uh, he's a, uh, yeah, he's, he's one of them. So, breeding, frustrated, because that guy has all the right genetics and I want him to pass those traits on. And also, this female, her genetics is through the roof. Um, I'm not gonna say that his is better than hers. Females are always more valuable. Anyway, this is an Amphilophus labiatus. And um, since you guys made it this far, uh, if you wanna order some of them fries for about two weeks you can use the code labiatus for a 25 percent discount so that's code labiatus for a 25 percent discount on fry okay so um yeah this is a al zapatero i mean you know you don't see them like this every day this is resemble the ones in the wild it's, it's a lot that, you know, I can say about it. I don't want to sound like I'm bragging on bragging on the fish. I'm just talking about the fish, though. Let you know what it is. Al Zapatera, Amphilophus labiatus. One of the better looking ones out here. Uh, just a, hundreds of them that look awesome. I know I put them out there, so I would know that. Uh, anyway, let's move on and take a look at some more of the tanks. Okay, so guess you guys are wondering where did we move uh, Chicken Sun to One? Well, here he is. This is Chicken Sun to One, and uh, you can call him A Ho Number One too, because all you want to do is beat on that female. You know, instead of him uh, going ahead and fertilizing the eggs, he just likes to fight, 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 and. Uh, I guess you could say they're non-compatible, but with the program I'm trying to make, 
they're going to have to be compatible. Y'all guys just saw her. And uh, wouldn't that be lovely to put these two guys together? Uh, Sunset Sherbert looks... Sunset Sherbert 2.0 looks just like Sunset Sherbert. She had the traits that passed these jeans on to all of these uh, great-looking labiatas. As a matter of fact, that's, uh, that was her daughter, and this is his son. I mean, her, her son, which is also chicken son to one. So, genetics are through the roof. This is like a throwback. Amphilophus labiata, elongated snout, nice hump on the head, bigger lips, beautiful color, full size is about, looking at about a nine and a half, ten inch red double. You could grow a little more, but uh, yeah, we're going to uh, hope this guy reach about 12, 13 inches, but if not, he's still a great looking fish. So he's going to be put back in... Uh, with Sunshine Sun Sherbert 2.0 once she gets herself together. So I give her about two two weeks, and hopefully by the time she's together for the uh, layer next spawn, that'll be time just right. Okay. Right here, we have uh, the kids from the uh, Cubans that I showed you guys. These are the uh, offsprings. Quite beautiful, beautiful looking fish. And uh, these guys are about two inches on average, except for this big guy right here that I had to save the other day. He messed around and had one of his brothers or sisters in his mouth trying to eat him and uh, it was too big, so luckily I was there to catch it before he choked on it to death. And after I finished uh, removing the fish out of his mouth, he had duck lip, like for about a day. I will push his lips in, they would come right back out. But it looks like, it looks like uh, he's back. He's looking good. But he always was lighter than everybody else. I don't know why. My theory, I have a theory on that. On uh, why some cichlids are, are larger in the beginning without color. That's not to say they're not going to look stupendous when they get older. But I just believe that uh, his body just decided to focus more on the growth aspect and less on the uh, color aspect. And that's why he doesn't have as much colors because I don't see no other reason why. You know, he's off the same bloodline. He looks a little lighter, but uh, that's like if a flower decides to grow more color nine times out of ten, it won't have as much smell. So, you know, nature, you get but so many uh, good stuff, you know. But I, I think eventually he'll color up. I had that, that same issue with Big Swaggy. Big Swaggy was the biggest out of all of his siblings. And all his uh, brothers and sisters sparkling with color. And he was kind of like a little bit less colorful than them. But his form and size was stupendous. It was, it was incredible. So, and uh, he grew to be big and beautiful and rival any humby out here that ever, uh, I ever saw. Yep, these are the Tetracanthus uh, Cubans. If you guys are uh, interested in some of these, like I said, you can reach out to me on Instagram, and uh, you can DM me, and we, we'll go from there. So how's chicken looking these days? Chicken's beautiful. Always have been, always will. Say so what's up to the people, chicken. This is Amphilophus labiatus. It's, uh, of course, as you can tell by the name, he's father to chicken son to one and a whole lot of uh, fry that's out here that we put out here. And uh, He was made it up with Sunset Sherbert, but unfortunately Sunset Sherbert passed away about a year ago. 
uh, under the care of my cousin Warren. Uh, she, I passed him to her for a while. He said she got beat up by another fish. It happens. So I'm not mad about it at all. But uh, like I said, we got the twins version of her. And uh, I think she was pretty much bred out. I ain't going to say she was bred out. Her last spawn was that spawn that spawned uh, Sunset Sherbrooke 2.0. Also, uh, Chicken Sun the One, and they look incredible. So I don't think she was spawned out, but I, she gave me enough. I, I didn't want to wear her out like that. So I just put on retirement, and she ended up really, really, really retiring. What's up, Chicken? Say, man, I'm still... Got all the personality in the world. This guy, all he does, all day long, if y'all uh, around and he can look at me, he'll just sit right here in this corner and stare at me all day. Pointing this way, like an arrow, straight in the direction of my chair where I sit at and watch TV. Anyway, it's got a um, kind of long video, huh? I think I'm going to cut it short on this one right here and uh, bring you guys some more videos on the next one. We'll show you guys some different fish. Um, yeah, pretty much. It's Cubans and... Uh, Super red tiger motorguenses. These have uh, the blood of the Candyman line, which is a uh, very sought after line. These bred by uh, my buddy Terrence Jacobs. He's an official uh, hobbyist. So, uh, yeah, good job, Terrence. But, uh, he didn't, he didn't raise them. I, I, I raised them up to this size. Pretty much I got them at a quarter inch. A little less than that. So, about three inches. If you guys are interested in some of these, once again, do what y'all do on the social media. Reach out to me. And uh, until the next one, the Sickly Strain Hunter, we out. Peace.